everyone, my name is Jess and today I'm going to review five wireless ergonomical mice so that you don't need to figure out which one you need to buy. Stick around and watch this video. All right, let's get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. You'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so the reason why you are all here is because I went shopping. I bought five ergonomical wireless mouse. These ones, you know how I decided, these ones were the top rated on the websites that I purchased them. So I thought, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I do wanna let you know that I am competing with my old Logitech Master 2 mouse. I absolutely love it. As you can see, there's a ton of wear. There's really nothing wrong with this and I've had it for four years. It is, I, I think, a great investment. It was about $120 when I bought it. I believe this one now is $80. So I would highly recommend this one. I am gonna check out some other ones that are at different price points because I do believe it is a good investment to buy a nice mouse that fits on your hand that is going to work well for all day use. If you're only using the computer a couple hours a day, then maybe you want to skip this. But if you want a good mouse, let's unbox these ones and see which one wins. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we have the first one here. I bought this on Amazon. It was quite cheap, but rated really, really high. I think 4.8 stars on Amazon and there was a lot of views. So I don't know if the reviews are fake. Let's go ahead and check it out. So it is the Infic mouse. So let's see what it comes with here. It comes with a charging cable, some instructions here. Funny name. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. How does it compare? Wow, it is extremely, extremely light, this mouse. It doesn't feel that great, to be honest. It feels like a cheap mouse. The buttons do feel not bad, but they do, do you hear that? Make a really loud clicking sound. So if you are working with someone or in an office, maybe it's going to be annoying. So that is the mouse. It looks like there is, yes, there is a dongle. It, it says it's Bluetooth has three different modes, which is lovely. And uh, again, it feels cheap. There's an on and off button. The charging is here. And I don't know even how to rate this. I'll have to use it, but it, it feels extremely cheap. So that is that mouse. That is what it comes with. And we'll go ahead and review the next mouse. So another Amazon purchase that I did, this is the Amoton wireless mouse. Again, ergonomic. The box looks a little bit different. It has some nice branding. I bought it in black. So go ahead and open this up here. All right, that is what is included. Some instructions, how it works. Oh boy, this feels even cheaper. <laughs> Look at that one. That is also highly rated. I suspect someone paid for that, unless maybe I'm just spoiled of using Logitech, but it is a great mouse. So again, it's pretty comfortable in the hand. I have quite large hands. Buttons, so let's hear. Still loud. And this one is battery. So I'm not a big fan of battery powered ones. You have to constantly change the batteries or recharge them. I prefer one that's built in. On and off switch, which is great, but there are no dual modes. So the other one had three modes that I could switch for different uses. This one has single mode and it didn't come with the charger, of course, because it is not rechargeable. So that is the Om Amoton wireless ergonomical mouse. Again, you get what you pay for. If you're gonna pay 20 bucks for a mouse, expect something simple like this. All right, now we might get even cheaper. We have the Amazon Basics ergonomical mouse. Again, all these are highly rated, so I'm confused of the quality. Are people just used to not great quality mice? Let's, let's look here. 
Let's see. Okay, wow, Amazon. So in the box, we have a dongle. We have, they left us with two batteries, Amazon Basics batteries. Some instructions. All right, now let's get to the mouse. Okay. Already, this feels a lot better than the last one. Ooh, it's a lot bigger too. Wow, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised of this Amazon Basics one. I love that it shows the the uh, three lights to tell you when the battery is dead. The other ones did not, so well done. Let's do the clip test. Very nice and quiet, not bad. Uh, that one is loud. All right, there's an on and off. There's a connect button for the Bluetooth. And of course it is not, you know, rechargeable. You have to put the batteries in there. That's what it looks like. But again, I am so pleasantly surprised about this mouse. I think because it's so big and it's really, really comfortable. Wow, so that one so far is winning for comfort. Again, it feels really, really light, but maybe maybe you're okay with that. I would just not be used to moving the mouse around when it's so light. And I don't like the fact that they don't have a system to hide the dongle. So that, if, if you're not traveling or anything like that, then that's fine, but not bad. All right, let's get to the next one. Microsoft. I have never used a Microsoft mouse. I love the packaging, of course. Microsoft does really, really nice stuff. Really great packaging. Let's see here. Don't need a knife. I can just open it there. And already it is claiming connect to three devices, which is great. Up to 12 hours of battery life, what we love because we, we will use our mouse often. Let's go ahead and take a peek. I guess, did I do it wrong? Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. So that is an empty box. Comes just there. Oh, it does not come with the charging cable. I'm really surprised. Okay. It feels quite nice. Let's go ahead and the on and off button. Very nice, they have Bluetooth. Let's open this up here. Oh, it already came with batteries. That is surprising that they are already pre-installed. It's super sleek. Like I'm not going to lie, this is a very good looking mouse. But unfortunately, there are only two buttons to customize, so they're here. But it does feel really good on the hand. It's so smooth. I love the material, love the color, never had a white mouse before, so I'm not sure if they get dirty, but it does look good on the desk, not to lie. Click test. Pretty quiet. So this is, this is a nice mouse. I don't know if it's worth the price, but it is a really, really nice mouse. I'll link the price below and you can go ahead and check it out. And now, Ladies and gentlemen, I saved the best, the best for last. I did that on purpose because I really think I would be blown away by the, yes, MX Master 3. This is the upgrade from my old mouse to a new one. And I am so excited to open this. I don't know if I'm just the biggest nerd that I'm excited to open a mouse, but let's go ahead and check this out because I can't wait. It's been four years. All right, so box is always nice. It works with Windows, it works with Macs, it, Mac, it works with Linux. Let's go ahead and check it out. I might also be biased, I just love Logitech. All right, so here's the box. Let's see. Oh, okay. So, comes with the mouse, comes with a fantastic, fantastic, good quality cable. Logitech always provides great cables, good quality cables. 
comes with instructions and comes with a little Logitech dongle here. And if you've never used Logitech, they have an amazing software to connect your mouse and map all the keys. I really, really like it. So let's go ahead. Let's peel this off. Beautiful. MX Master 3 has the on and off button for Bluetooth and wireless. It has the one, two, three options, so you can map it to three different computers or three different uses, tablets, etc. Has the charging thing here for a cable. Oh, wow, they upgraded it. It is type C. That is something different. Maybe I should do a comparison of these two. And let's do the button test. It's about the same. It does have a, a, a different ergonomical um, a slope here for your hand, which I really like. But wow, that is one nice mouse. The weight is a bit lighter than the old one. Maybe I'll do a comparison video of these two if you currently have the MX Master 2. But again, Logitech always wins in my heart. No, I don't work for Logitech, but I work for Dell and we are partners. So that maybe I'm a little bit biased, but again, the quality, you cannot go wrong. So if you are looking for a mouse, this is a little bit of a different price point. I believe it's $130 if you're in Canada. The other ones are a lot cheaper, about $20, $30, 40 So it depends on what your budget is, but if you can splurge, I would recommend getting a Logitech mouse. They are hands down the best. And that is the end of this video. If you want me to do more tech reviews for working from home devices specifically, feel free to comment below on what you would like to see. And I will see you next Monday. Thanks again and take care.